Welcome to Sunday School! I'm so excited that you guys are here with me today. And I'm also very excited because today is a special day. Does anyone know what is special about today? There's a very special name for this, for this particular Sunday. And that is Palm Sunday! We learned a little bit about Palm Sunday last week. Palm Sunday was the day that the people were so excited when Jesus came into Jerusalem for the Passover feast. Do you guys remember that? Well, we're celebrating that today. And the people had something very special that they waved around when Jesus came in. They waved around palm branches and they did that to welcome him in and make him feel like they were very excited he was there. So some of you might have a palm branch at your house today to celebrate, but if you don't, then maybe you can just grab something else from around your house. Um, I am gonna use this branch. And even if you have a pillow or a blanket, just pick something up that you can wave around. When Jesus came into Jerusalem, the people waved their branches like this. And they said, Hosanna, Hosanna. Can you guys say Hosanna, Hosanna? You can even stand up and if you want, you can jump around while you say it. Hosanna, Hosanna. Very good. Great job, guys. So this is the start of Holy Week. And we learned a little bit about Holy Week last week. We talked about um, when Jesus was thankful and we talked about um, the people being excited. We talked about him when he was angry and he asked the merchants to leave the temple. Today, we're gonna learn about some other things that Jesus felt during Holy Week. Today, we're gonna talk about Jesus feeling overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed means that you're feeling lots of different things inside and you might not even be able to explain what they are. You might be feeling a little bit angry, a little bit sad, a little bit frustrated all at once. And it's very hard to say how you're feeling when you're overwhelmed. Can you guys make a face that feels like overwhelmed? like? Maybe something like that, like, oh, a little overwhelmed. This is how Jesus was feeling. Jesus went to pray, telling his disciples, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow. He fell down and prayed, Abba, Father, that's God, take this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. Jesus is overwhelmed and so he's praying to God and asking him for help. Overwhelmed. Now let's see what happens next during Holy Week. Oh, Jesus was arrested and brought to Pilate, but Pilate found him innocent and wanted to release him. Still, the people wanted Jesus to die. Frustrated, Pilate asked them, why? What evil has he done? I have found him no guilt. I found in him no guilt. But the people again demanded Jesus should be crucified. So Pilate decided that their demand should be granted. When this happened, Pilate felt frustrated. What does it mean to feel frustrated? Can you make a frustrated face? That's what my face looks like when I'm frustrated. When we're frustrated, it's when we really want something to happen a certain way and it just doesn't go our way. Sometimes that can make us very frustrated because we want things to be different. On this day during Holy Week, Pilate was frustrated that the people wanted to crucify Jesus. Now on Friday this week, we're going to be remembering something called Good Friday. 
And Good Friday is the day where we remember that Jesus died on the cross for us. And Good Friday can be a very sad day. It's when we remember all that Jesus had to go through to die for our sins. And we're gonna remember that on this Friday. But what happened on Good Friday? Let's learn a little bit more about that. On Good, This is what happened on Good Friday. Jesus was crucified. The earth shook when he died and the soldiers who were guarding Jesus were terrified, exclaiming, surely he was the son of God. Wow, the soldiers were terrified because they realized that the man who had been crucified was the son of God. They were very scared. Can you guys show me your scared faces? <gasps> show me your best scared face. Good job. All right. Many people were sad when Jesus died. They laid his body in the tomb and rolled a great big stone in front of it. He was pierced for our transgressions and by his wounds we are healed. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. The people were very sad after Jesus died. Can you guys show me your best sad face? What does it look like to be sad? Yeah, good job. So this Friday, we are gonna remember Jesus doing this for us. We're gonna remember him dying on the cross and it might make us sad because we have to think about all that he went through for us, but it's important that we spend the day remembering that. So this week, maybe you can talk with your mom, with your dad, with your brother or sister, your family about the kinds of things that make you sad and maybe some things that make you thankful that Jesus died on the cross for us. All right, great job guys. You did a great job listening, I'm sure. Okay, so we are gonna pray for our friends next. If you all want to make prayer hands with me, um, you can kneel on the ground if you want, and we are going to pray together. Father God, thank you for all of the kids and mission kids. I pray that you would protect them and keep them well this week. I pray that they would be able to have fun with their families, that they would get good rest, and that you would be present in each of their houses. God, we pray especially for Rebecca and Lilla, Emerson, Eleonora, Lucy, Irene, Willa, and Beckett, and Alice, and all of our other friends who are part of Mission Kids. In your name we pray, amen. Great job, guys. All right, now if you want to join with me, you can say the Lord's Prayer together. And again, you can bow your head, you can hold your hands in prayer hands if you want to, and you can also kneel on the ground. I'm going to kneel. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Great job, guys. Okay, the last prayer that we have for today is our cross. So if you want to make a cross and say this prayer with me. God in my head, God in my heart, God in all of me. Good job, guys. I hope you have a great week and I can't wait to see you next Sunday when we celebrate Easter. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.